So, you know, from here at this point, it's just touch-up work, you know, you spend three, four more hours on this thing, just working at it, throwing in little things, working out the outline, making his ears a little bit topper. It's like extreme noodling at this point. I'm gonna get his face looking better. At this point, I have so many layers, I just take all of it, flatten it real quick, work it from this point on. Not the best artists out there. There's some that are, poof, God, they're so good at this. But uh, this is definitely one of the tricks you need to know if you're working in the industry, whether that's product design, whether that's video game industry. I guarantee you, this is like something that's just you have to know, anyways. You know, it just pops up everywhere. And, uh, I mean, I was working on the Kung Fu Panda game. I had to use it all the time. Blend modes. Even though it was like traditional drawing stuff. You can check out some of the work on uh, my website at artofmongol.blogspot.com. Uh, I had to like take all the scenes and turn them into nighttime scenes. And to do that hand by hand would have taken forever, but the blend modes you go through one a day. It's not that bad. So you can see that this area right here is all detail. This area has to be specular, meaning like not too much detail going on, not too much contrast. You don't want to read away from uh, the face, which is which should be the highest contrast zone. Just a little bit. Eyes need a little bit of fixing because one side's a little lopsided from the other. But that's something not that hard. Just take this, use the liquify tool, arch up the eyes a little bit more, and then take a look. Yeah, that was pretty quick. I didn't even have to repaint or move anything. And you don't want them to be too symmetrical because then you got other issues. Like, because if you ever look at the human face, it's not symmetrical. There's always uh, one side that's a little bit darker, one side that's a little bit more fatter. You know, just go take a look at your face. That's why when you look at some of those CGI models, why they look fake, it's because, quite frankly, it's too perfect. Take a look at um, any face and you'll see that it's just it's not like that. Everybody has... Even like Megan Fox or someone who's like dead gorgeous, they got variations from one side to the other. Even though you might think there's no variations, there is. Your mind just you know tries to think you know just tells you hey they're they're the same from horizontal from horizontal to the other horizontal. But in reality, they're just it's fucked up. You wouldn't believe how fucked up it is. If you have Photoshop, do it. Just get a picture of a celebrity dead on and then try reflecting it. You'll see how weird it looks. I you know, want some light here. Maybe just a little corner light here. And I'm going to change that by just taking the adjustment tool and brightening it. It's even more than that. Really brightening it. Not too bright.
And there you go. Take a step back, and that's how it appears. A totally nasty, crazy zombie. So uh, if you guys enjoyed that tutorial, see my other ones at http uh, artofmongol.com. Uh, I mean artofmongol.blogspot.com, or just you know type in art of art of mongol on, um, or subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys very much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Until next.